Let me show you how you can make this open front abaya the easiest way. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nafisa and you are welcome to my channel. So for this tutorial, I'm using 2 meters of project fabric, which are folded into 4. So the front and back are both folded together. And after that, I'm starting with half of my shoulder measurement here. So I'm taking half of my shoulder measurement here. And on that line, I'm coming down by 10 inches for that for my armhole. So making sure I have this I'm marking the same 8 inch I mark for my for my shoulder measurement on this line as well. Then I'll come down from the shoulder line to the arm all line. So here I come down by 10 inch and here I'm marking 8 inch. So the next thing is to come down by one inch on this line to mark my shoulder lump, shoulder slope or slant here. And after I'm, I'm done with that, I'm taking my full length measurement. The measurement I'm working it is 56, and to that I'll be adding 1.5 inch sewing allowance. So now just go ahead and cut out the excess. So on this line, I'm trying to get the midpoint of this, and I'll take my curve ruler to mark out the armhole curve. So if you don't have a curve ruler, you can just go up by 1.5 inch here, and you connect the curve like so. So after then. I'm marking quarter of my post measurement plus two inches. So here yeah, mine is twelve inches. And after then we'll be marking an A line. So here I'm marking an A line. We are not marking a straight line. We are making an A line. So I just mark the lines all the way down to the tip of the bottom part of our bio. So as you can see how the line is going down. So after then I cut this out. So here I'm going up by 1.5 inches and I'll get the midpoint of this bottom line and I'll connect it up all the way to the 1.5 inches I marked. So I'll cut this out. Coming to the neckline here, remember we have both the front and the back all together. So here I'm marking 3 inches for my neck width and the neck edge for the back will be half an inch. So I go ahead and connect that. And for the front piece now, the neck edge for the front piece will be 9 inches. So I'm marking 9 inches here. So I'll be making a V neckline here. So after connecting it like so, on this point here, I'll be going in by one inch. So after marking my one inch here, so I'll just connect the V, the V, the V line there. I'll connect it to the one inch mark like so. Just as you can see what I did here in the video. So then I'll continue with my measurement is so I'll, I'll be taking one inch all the way down so 
So this is what the front line looks like. So the next thing is to cut the back neckline. And after that, I will be taking out the inner piece. So that will be for the back bodies. So the next is to cut this out as well. So while you're cutting this, you just want to be careful and gently place your, your hand on the fabric just to keep the fabric in place. So after cutting this, we are done with the front and back. So next is to cut the sleeve. So I'll be using the remaining piece of fabric to cut out the sleeve. And here, as you can see, I have this piece here which is open, so I'll be joining this later on. So that means my sleeve will be having a kind of joining from the shoulder out. Taking my sleeve length measurement plus one inch seam allowance. Then I'll go ahead and minus two inch because I'll be adding two inches curve to the sleeve later on. And that I'll be doing with a plain fabric. So before that, let's check what we have here. On the arm only, I've got 12 inches. So the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be marking our cap height. So I'm taking 3.5 inches for my cap height. So after then, the same 12 inch we have on our arm all, I'll be inserting it here on this line. And after that, from that folded angle, I'll mark a slanted line like so. So this is just how to the easiest way to make your sleeve. So after marking the slanted line, I'll go ahead and divide this line by two. As you can see, we have the same 12 inch. The same 12 inch we have there is what we'll be having there. So I'll divide this line by two inch. Oh, sorry, I've divided it into two. Sorry. After dividing that into two, I'll go ahead and divide this. Also, the half one, oh, the half, I'll divide into two. Also, divide the other half into two. Then, on this first half, I'll be going up by half an inch, and the second half here, I'll be going, I'll go down by half an inch as well, and connect the lines like so. I'm sorry, my chalk was so thick, and the lines was not so nice. So I'm taking half of my this measurement here and I'll connect it all the way down. So I'll advise if your size is like large, extra large, or if you want a wider sleeve, that you use two and a half meters of fabric to sew this fabric. So after cutting this sleeve out, I'll place this on the other piece of fabric to cut the same for the other sleeve. So I'll go ahead and notch the midpoint like so. So I have another plain fabric which I'll be using for the inner. And from that I've cut out the, the sleeve curve. You know, I told uh, I told you all about the uh, two inches curve I'll be adding. So this is two inches on fold. So which I'll be sewing on this surround later on. For the color, I cut out four inches width of a long piece of fabric. And this is our front piece. And after joining the back piece to this, I'll go ahead and measure what I have here all the way around. Divide, multiply by two, and that will be what we'll be using for for this. So this, after folding this, then I'll go ahead and iron it, and that's also will be sewing around the front piece across the back neckline. So now let's put this piece together. So this is our back piece. So I'll be placing the front piece. So right side together, I'll go ahead and sew this like so. So 
I'll be showing this as well. And for the sleeve, I'll go ahead and stitch this all the way around the cuff. So after joining the shoulders, I'll open this up in the hand hole and place the, the right side of the sleeve on the joining of the shoulder. And I'll pin this all the way down. So after pinning this, I'll take it to my sewing machine and seal all round. So I'll be doing this on both sleeves. So next, after sewing the sleeves, then we have to close the side of from the wrist there, from here, and we just have to close it up all the way down. So I'll be sewing this. You can use half half inch sewing allowance, or you can choose to use one inch sewing allowance. Just depends on what you want. So after sewing the sides together, next is to take our long piece of fabric we cut out for the collar and we'll be sewing this around the front opening. So to get this long piece of fabric, I measured around the front. So I take the measurement around the front like so. So I have to cut two pieces of fabric and join it together. So I join it in a way that the joining will fall on the back neckline, like the at the middle of the back neckline. So that is where the joining will fall on. So after sewing this, I'll just go ahead and overlock it and after I I'm done with the overlock. I'll end the bottom of the abaya. And that is it. Our abaya is done. So I'm sewing this collar with half inch sewing allowance. So after sewing, the collar will be one and a half inches wide. The plain fabric was also two meters of fabric. So after cutting what I needed for the sleeve and the collar, so I went ahead and make a sleeveless inner for this abaya. So this is all we have. So I went ahead and cut out the excess. And we are done. See how easy this is. So easy and simple to make.